Night at the Roxbury, fellas. What's going on? That's how I feel with these on. How's everybody doing tonight? Can you guys hear me? Boom. He's on his way. I'm right on time. I was in here one second before. OC, what up? What's up, everyone? Can everybody hear me? Oh. I'm hoping these will solve the echoing problem with my guests, is what we're going for. OC714, what up? Miss Thang, what's going on? Tommy Thunder in the house, good looking. Weavis. What's going on? Let's get some music. I'm jamming anyway, right? Damn. Oh. Drop the link real quick. We got us our little Big Johnson. That's right. Big Johnson <laughs> sausages. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. What's up? What's up, bro? <laughs> How's everybody doing? I've been so busy today. Yeah? Oh, yeah. What you got going? Yeah. That verdict came in. Yeah. I've already done, I did a podcast with Marco. And then I came over, I got to do this. Then I got to go over to my channel, talk about what happened. And then I think Miss Thang's going live. And then I'm sure Weavy's going live for sure. Did I already see you go there on twice today? You, you premiered something or went live twice today? Yeah, I thought I saw that. I went live once uh, when the verdict came in. And then I... Went on Marco's podcast, which is another motorcycle channel. They asked me to come in. He's, okay. he's like, you you seem to know more about all this than we do, man. What happened? I was like, hell, hell bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boom. They, 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 they went for it. They said they said we we seen uh what's what Bud Light got's coming to him, and and we want some too. We want some of that too. Thirty percent is what Bud Light has lost so far. In a month. In a month. In a month. Thirty percent market cap. Why would another company? Now 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 I've heard somebody say I heard one pe person say that Embev the company Embev. That that uh, this one beer represents about one percent of their portfolio, so even though it could collapse completely, and it's only a one percent loss to Enbev, is what they're saying. Right, because they own like Heineken and and other brands, right? Maybe they feel that American brands are sexist and outdated. Maybe they think that Americans make garbage beer because uh, they're German, right? 
Because we might be guilty? Yeah. Of making garbage <laughs> <laughs> Their beer is garbage. We just take a watch this. It's a this is a diabolical German plan. This is, bro. That's you yeah. know they look, you know they like to stir up shit in the world, bro. Yeah. It's been proven. Yeah, they they AJ, what up? They they uh <laughs> they came in. <laughs> right? Here, here, let's let's uh what you called it. Let's just play this real quick. Yep. And see what this does. Yeah, Coors and Miller are the same company. So, but, and then Bud Light is... Centuries at, later, a homage to the founding mothers of beer. They put us in bikinis. Wow. Now, I'm going to turn that on. This where they go through and tell you how, um, how they've been sexist forever. They've been sexist, and they need to clean up their act. And so what they want to do is they're trying to uh, they're trying to buy back all of your old merchandise. It seems to me like they're trying to clean up all the evidence from the past. So they're offering to take it back from people, I guess, and then they're gonna like uh, turn it into compost, right? You guys, remember give that it to this, feed this female brewers. I yeah. think you might be onto something right there. This came out in March. This ad. Is months old. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. Twitter dug yeah. dug it up. And Twitter so I, think, I think someone at Bud Light snitched on Miller Light to get the heat off them. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. That might be true. Corporate espionage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, what what American beer is there left? Um, well, we got Coors know, out here, right? Yeah, got Coors. That's it. Coors. They got a Yingling is uh, owned by itself. Well, they got like eight hundred five and and Lagunitas and things like that. But I'm saying major major beer companies like Anheuser and and Coors. Like, there's only three. Well, two really. I only dealt with two. You deal yeah. with the Anheuser rep, and you deal with the the Miller Coors rep, and yeah. you get all the beers on your tap from those two people. Well, I know that that now that I'm on the East Coast, you know they have Yingling is like big, but for the West Coast where I'm from, you know, like I've never heard of Yingling. Where I where I went lived in in Pennsylvania, all you got to do is say I want a lager, and they'll give you a Yingling because that's how like about it they are over here but you know they got blue moon and goose island and all those other ones but they're still not like beer that you have you know hey we're gonna watch the super bowl you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go grab a couple of couple of cases type beer you know what i'm saying so yeah i mean uh, yeah. well so bud light i'm seeing pictures of this from bud light that are showing that they're offering a 20 dollar rebate on a yeah. case of bud light yep. that costs 19.98 yeah. So you make two cents. If, if, you, if, you, if you buy a case of Bud Light, you make two cents. They're and paying you two cents to, to drink their, their beer right now just to keep the product moving. It will, yeah. it, it will, it will, uh, beer goes bad. Yep. Beer, beer, uh, ends yeah. up going bad. And so, yes, to keep the product flowing properly. And you also got to remember this you got to remember human behavior. Some of those rebates will get lost. Some people will be too lazy. Some people yeah, will be too drunk. Me. You're I'm dealing with alcoholics. You're dealing with alcoholics. So many will just be too drunk. And so you will not lose 100% of Fact. that rebate. Fact. Right? Fact. Um, I don't know. Bud Light drinkers seem like the same type of people might use the coupon to buy toilet paper. Well, well, not anymore. All those people, people left the brand. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I was just at a... I was just at an Orioles game in uh, in in Baltimore, or excuse me, Baltimore, as they say here. You know what I'm saying? And that no one was drinking Bud Light. No one. I saw one person with like a Bud Light. Everyone else, and even a little Bud Light area, there was Bud Light everywhere, but no one was drinking it. And this was last Wednesday, so they pissed a lot of people off, man. And the, and now they're trying to do. You see the. A, the latest thing where they're trying to change the can to the camouflage and talk about the fallen, uh, with fallen, the folded flag, or <clears throat> they're trying yeah. to go full, 
and I'm proud to be yeah. the yeah. Well, I need some help. Yeah. Night alone. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's more American than Nike yeah. and Anheuser Busch. Yeah. Together, we're gonna make it through. God. All right. So hilarious, man! It's so hilarious, and I just don't know. And I did a video today about about, about Disney. How Disney's being sued by their investors because they were saying that uh, woke Disney Plus was going to be more profitable. But finally, they're saying because they were moving the money around. And here's the thing about, about the Bud Light thing. The Bud Light thing is a get woke, go broke thing in real time happening quick. You know what I'm saying? But Disney's been going woke for years, but they've been flim flamming the numbers. So they would say, oh, yeah, Genghis's division might make the cartoons and he's making money. But then, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, AJ's D Disney Plus. So we're going to hide the Disney Plus losses under Genghis's little subsidiary. And then yeah. keep getting investors. So they were dodge, dip, duck, diving, and dodging. <laughs> I I miss Disney when they were just hiding dicks on the, the covers yeah, of every film, that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Remember that? And they bring, made good movies. Bring yeah. that Disney yeah. back. Let's make good Facts. movies, man. Facts, Come man. on. Facts. You know? So, so that, it seems to me like, I mean, you're basically putting a target on your back. If you yeah. walk up there and grab a Bud Light... You're putting you're you're asking to be that yes. guy. Oh, so yeah. even people who really don't care about the any of the pol politics or any of it in the in the first place, they just don't want to be singled out as Back. the guy who go grabs the Bud Light. And you know, these <laughs> Gen Z and millennials, once something gets memed, because you've seen like the guys on the TikTok and they're like, "Hey man, pass me a Bud Light," and they'll drink it and be like, "Hello, boys." <laughs> Hey, don't be with me in a bar anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yell at you from across the bar and be like, "Hey, you want you want a Bud Light or two Bud Lights?" Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, he's just a little funny. He's got a little sugar in his tank. Yeah, I yeah, told yeah. you guys, and uh, and um, it's gonna be, and then you never go woke because the woke can never be pleased ever, ever. You can never be woke enough, right? Um, they have that singer, the one her name is like Sia. She's the singer. She tried to have a movie about an autistic girl that was based on a true story that like somehow became some singer and she got the project done, but people canceled it because the actress wasn't autistic. And she said, well, she tried to have an autistic person do the, do, do the role, but it was too overpowering for an autistic person. So now the story, the movie got canceled and no one's ever gonna see it. So this process of proof, why even try? But now Bud Light, because they didn't double down on the Dylan Mulvaney thing, now the woke crowd is boycotting them, and now their main customers are boycotting them. Yeah, he, look, yeah. Uh, there was a guy in World War II that learned that you shouldn't fight a war on two fronts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same guys, same guys that are running this Budweiser campaign yeah, too. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. That are backdooring us. Yeah, backdooring our beer companies. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> <laughs> Germans just don't learn, bro. They like to take the world on. <laughs> exactly, this is Mark. Happening in real time, though, like this is because the only thing that I can think of that happened th this bad was that Gillette commercial. Do you remember that when they had the the toxic masculinity commercial? Gillette's lost like fourteen billion dollars and never re recovered. Because remember, before then, you never saw Dollar Shave Club. You never saw Manscaped. And what happened with Cow, Cow, guys, gang, if you can look this this up, there's, there's a woke coffee shop in Toronto called the Anarchist Cafe that got sh shut down today. Did you guys hear about this? Yeah. <laughs> it was an anti-capitalist, anti-colonialism coffee shop, and they got closed down because they were like, here. Uh, it's it's pay as you can. <laughs> <laughs> so no one paid any money and they shut down. Oh, God. Of course. So good, man. I was but, more of a, uh, uh, if I was going to go cheap and hard, I was going to go with the Milwaukee's best. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? That's, that's the, well, they, have, they have natural bohemian in, in this area, Natty Bo. Natty Bo's cheap and it's good. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. look, I've never tried it. I'm from the West West Coast, so everyone's like, what are you ordering that? Like, I've never tried this before. So, 
So, but yeah, man. But but like stepped in it. It just seems like they're making every single moronic move possible. You understand? And now they're they actually hired a bunch of uh, consultants that are like conservatives to try and get their conservative base back. You know what I'm saying? But that's a, that's the thing about majority men. Once you piss us off, like when, once you make men angry with your product, product, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Ask Gillette. So. Well, I think if they if they reversed course and just admitted what they had done yeah. and said, listen, yeah. this yeah. was a mistake, Apologize. but they won't. They, they, they keep trying to obfuscate. And yeah. now they're waving the flag in our face. They got the Clydesdales running back and mm-hmm. forth, and now they got the camouflage and everything. And that's just making it, you're just acting like I'm dumb. Now you're just treating me like I'm dumb, like you can just scream 9-11. And, and wave the flag wow, the <laughs> That's what's next. You're going to see a Bud Light commercial and it's going to be people saluting, soldiers yeah. saluting, and they're like, they're going to be singing the anthem. Yep. Watch. Right. Facts. Yeah. Facts. And the thing is, they uh, think we're dumb. You know what I mean? And we're not. And the thing is, is this. It, whether you agree with that, you know, you know, the Transformers more than meets the eye stuff or not, the, you most of us know that Beer companies are not the place to do this. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I was in in, in Charlotte uh, two years ago, and on a they, so Charlotte has a big craft beer scene now. Like they have a lot of really good breweries, and one of the breweries is a you know a, a LGBT alphabet woman owned brewery. It was just happened to be on the tour, and these chicks made some good beer. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a c- couple of beers, I was fine, but they weren't shoving this. You know, flag stuff in your face or whatever. They were saying, "Look, we're a bunch of chicks, you know, who like to dive them up, and we and we make beer. Have our beer." And I was like, "Okay, cool. It's beer. That's it." Might be the secret ingredient there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, but this, you know, you know, Disney though, they've lost billions of dollars on Disney Plus, and it's finally starting to catch up with them. Disney, the Paramount lost a lot of money. They lost like like. A quarter million dollars on their streaming service, and all because in 2020, with the cough cough, they like we're locked down. Movie theaters are done. Regular cables done. We're gonna get these. These investors gave everyone money to spend on a on a streaming. So Disney sat on this big like nest egg of money and was making all this woke crap, all this stuff that no one watches. All this Disney Plus stuff, all the Star Wars shows trash, all the Marvel shows trash. The Pixar films, that uh, Red Panda about the girls, period. That's trash. That strange new new world, trash. So you have to make money at some point. You know what I'm saying? And now all the investors are saying, well, where's the money? Do you think possibly it was a plan, though? Because if you think about it, the way they've monopolized everything, right? Like Disney's absorbed everything. Everything. And now we're talking about InBev. InBev has absorbed so many companies, and it's so huge that it can afford to sacrifice brands. And perhaps it's the American brands that it's decided. Like I said, it's decided they're offensive. Yeah, I guess. But when Bud Light's the number one beer in America, and America is the biggest market in the world, right? Like that would be like saying saying we want to release a movie and have it do well everywhere except the United States. That doesn't make any sense, right? And the thing is, look, look, Bud Light already had the championship belt. That's what I don't understand. Like, y'all remember Cir- the Circuit City? You remember Circuit City? You know, they had the, they had the belt, and then Best Buy came and just took them. Just, just, stole, just took their chain. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you let that happen? You know, that's like Pixar. Pixar was, they had Toy Story, they had all, you know, all these other things. And now um, uh, Illumination makes Super Mario. That movie's making billions of dollars. They make Minions and Gru and, and Secret Life Pets. The last four Pixar films bombed, but now Illuminations is the number one computer animation studio in the world. How did this happen? <laughs> and it's all because you don't... If, if, if you don't make stuff that your customers don't like, they're not going to buy it. So maybe maybe Disney is playing some four-dimensional chess, but I don't know. No, Disney is on some fuckboy shit. Yeah. Like, that's all that is. Uh, 
they're they're about to get kicked out of, or they're threatening to leave Florida. Yeah. Oh, good yeah. luck anywhere else. Good luck anywhere else. <laughs> Come on, man. This yeah. Is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like packing a house up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, get out of here, guys. Get out well, of here. Well, this isn't like like the like the Olympics where they'll just build a a whole town in every c- country and leave it there. You know what I'm saying? Or like, was it in Qatar? They built like three towns worth of stuff out in the middle of the desert for the World Cup and just left it. It's just there, just chilling now. Like, <laughs> yeah. I bet the copper wire isn't. Yeah. That happens well, all over the planet. It's, they say it's a curse to get the Olympics. Yeah, yeah. The Brazil one, mm-hmm. there's a guy flying his drone over that, that thing. And it's all decrepit and nasty now, man. It's crazy. But I just think that, um, you know, Disney, they, 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 you put these knuckleheads in charge and they're just so removed, like the woman who, who got put on leave from Anheuser Busch. Like, think about Bud Light. They had Post Malone as their spokesman for a while because he always drinks Bud Light. He's known for it. Like they they sponsored him back in the day because he drinks it all the time, right? So he he went from the regular, but beer to the seltzer, which is why young people drink seltzers and any. Like that's what they do. They were already in good with the older crowd and the millennials and the Gen Z because of Post Malone. So this woman kind of comes in straight out of Harvard because of course, and she's like, well, what is that? that there's a frat boy image. What do you? Those are the people you want to buy your beer. A job well done. In the, did you guys see that? I, that that hashtag boycott Starbucks is going on in India. No, we're, we're no, you guys. Oh, okay. buckle in for this. So you know, they don't play the 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 alphabet. You know, more than meets the eye shit over that stuff. I don't mean to cuss over there. Starbucks made this commercial. Right in in India, of all play, places, and this mom and dad they're older and they're like, we haven't seen our son in forever. We have to look whatever. And then it's a like a a girl walks in. It's like, hello mother, hello father. This is me, and I'm new or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> and the Indians are going berserk. And like, what? No, do not bring your Western. You know, woke crap over here. Yeah, they still throw people off of buildings for shit like that yeah, over there, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and on Twitter, someone goes, "Isn't it funny how they wouldn't try this in the Middle East, but they sure will try it over here?" You know what I'm saying? Oh man, oh man. And, and the thing is, it's it's so it's so dumb. Like I, I don't understand. Is it the benefit of what? Let's just say that Bud Light, that we were in the meeting with them. What benefit did they think that they yeah. could have trying to do this Dylan thing, or, or even Miller Lite and, and, and these chicks? Chicks don't aren't going to be empowered with Miller Lite. I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I know a couple of chicks that drink Miller Lite, but that's that's not because commercials. It's because yeah. they like Miller Lite. Like, like these, they're getting out of hand, man. Just go back to the frogs, right? And don't yeah. let them be wearing ribbons on their hair or yeah. got lipstick on or nothing like that. Just yeah. just go back to the way it was when it was cool. Well, the guy you know? that, that did the frogs campaign, do you see that? He was saying, yeah. it, it took me 20 years to build this brand. It took them one week to kill it. He yep. he did the blah, 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 video. I mean, come on. He did the real men of genius. Real men of genius. And he did the <laughs> he did the frogs. And he's like, what are you guys doing to my brand? Like, what is going on, man? It's crazy. I just don't. And then have you guys not noticed once you see it, you can't unsee it. Okay. Watch car commercials now. And look, the woman is always driving the car. Oh yeah. Yeah, once I've noticed it, all of that for a while. Yeah, once you see it, you cannot unsee it, right? The and guys are all feminine. Anytime they yeah. show a commercial and there's a family, the guy's feminine. Yeah. The woman's yeah. the woman's like doing something with a hammer. She's no. like hitting something with a hammer. Then and the guy's then like the guy's putting some dishes away yeah. like that or something. You know, He's got the back. spray bottle on the plant. <laughs> yeah. 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 A commercial for like for like insurance or whatever, and the wife is chopping wood. And the husband brings, is there reading a book to the kids and the wife 
brings the water and throws it in the fire. So yeah. what kind of beta male soy milk drinking <laughs> loser would let his, his girl chop wood while he's sitting there? Hey. Come on, man. Hey, where do you find a woman who chops wood? Come on, man. None of the women I'm dealing with are gonna are gonna chop any wood, dog. Hey, every the woman that I... deals with me is gonna have to chop some wood. <laughs> <laughs> hey ho! I get, canceled. I get cussed out, homie. I get cussed out, and I for sure wouldn't get laid if I had some woman over there chopping wood. Dog. Straight up, dude. I, come on, man. That ain't. Hey, happening. her I'm hands gonna my... be all tore up by the end of the day. Her hands gonna be all tore up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. My daughter. Listen, my daughter helped me change uh, tires, oil, headlights, alternators. Uh, I think she was there when we did the uh, the suspension on my Scion. Like, yeah, she's out there. Now, Look, I got pictures of her doing uh, yeah, like, yeah, Edward socket me. hands. Years from now, because I don't, cause I don't know how old she is. You know, five. But in 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 fifteen years, if she's gonna be dating the guy, he better be able to do all that same that same stuff, man. You know oh yeah, no, don't don't bring no dude around. And she's the one changing the tire. I'm gonna beat him with the iron. Okay, miss, miss, miss thing. She said, "What's wrong with women doing men things?" Because when women do, okay, there's a difference between a woman doing men things when she's in the house by herself and she's not with a man. When she's with a man, she's still doing man things. They lose respect for the guy that they're with. Listen, it's cold outside. I'm gonna need somebody to go on out there and chop that wood. <laughs> All right, the football game's on. <laughs> He's in the ball bail, right? It's cold out there. It's cold. <laughs> my skin is far too fair for stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want a woman that can start a fire, bro. Seriously. <laughs> all right, all right. So what's the next topic, bro? What's the next oh, topic? Oh, let's let's talk about the report, man. <laughs> what is it called? The Durham report? The Durham report. Jesus. Oh. Whose dog is that? Yours? That's mine. Okay. I think she's she's going blind. Just barking at things? Everything. Yeah. Okay. So the Durham report has been released, which was a report uh which was a report commissioned Jack, that's enough. Was a report commissioned for them to uh what you call it for they're going to investigate the FBI that did the investigation into Trump in the first place. So they're investigating the investigators. That's what the Durham report is. The Durham report has just been released. Basically says that the FBI had no evidence and that Trump colluded with Russia at all. What happened with AJ? Did he jump out? Um, uh, there he is. Okay. I swear here, my, my AirPods are acting up. I don't know. And not only that, they lied to judges to continue the investigation. Was uh, Kamala Harris in charge of that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds like that type. We all know about lying to keep people, to keep investigations going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, they says, uh, so, so what they're saying, how the whole thing started was that the FBI went to... Th the, the news reporters that they knew and started this rumor. So then the news people, the reporters think, well, I'm getting it from the FBI. They're not just going to give me nonsense. So they go right, start writing stories about it. And then the FBI goes and grabs all the stories in the newspaper and uses them as a reason to start the investigation. Can you pull up a picture of Durham? Let's look. I think we can. So, yeah, basically, they they started this investigation to prove Trump was dirty, and it came out that Trump had nothing to do with anything. And it's the DNC, basically. You can't just pin it on Biden or, or whoever, but Biden and them, Biden and the homies. They lied, and they got this judge fooled. And the feds, the FBI especially, is going to this judge, lying to him to continue the investigation, knowing that it was 
That's John Durham right there. That's a serial killer oh, if I've ever seen one. He's up to serial deleter so the uh, so the stream doesn't get shut down for lang language. Trust oh me, no, I, no. I, hey, I've I've fine tuned what you can and cannot say and still get monetized at, at about ten dollars per thousand. Not nice. You just yeah, gotta spread it out. Yeah, it sucks that uh, like I said all of my videos on this whole you know, little light bulb light light thing are doing real, real, real good, but I can't get 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 uh, get re 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 monetized until June, which sucks. So I'm in detention. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what they what they put you in the what they put you in the corner for? I did a video. I did a, I did a live reaction. To this girl that was trying to norm normalize having the herp derp, you know the the gift that that keeps on giving. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know what I'm talking, talk about the herpes, herp syphilis. Like, <laughs> yeah, the herp derp, you know. And she was like, "Oh, I'm on my journey." And she had the video called "Herpes Save My Life" because I found Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and she was just, and then all these men need to understand that it's not. You know, if you won't date a girl who has this, you're you're just a jerk. So so she uh so she got me three times because there was three videos I reacted to in my live. So she so so she flagged me three times and I got demonetized for thirty days. Did you so. try to fight it, saying that you were uh, what is it? What's it called, gang? Oh, no. I appealed it and they said no. So I just have to wait. It's all no, good. there's a. It's not appeal. It's fighting it. It's forcing them to basically use their lawyer because you are at the Fair Use Act. Okay. Uh, well, you are commenting is. on. Yeah, I got in. I mean, again, yeah. but the thing is, I took the live down, and they said that I can't do it again if I actually make any changes to my channel. Channel, so it's my my fault. Oh well, you live and you learn, you know. But people, yeah. they just get upset but hey don't be trying to shame us dudes for not wanting to you know dip in the dirty pool you know what i'm saying <laughs> i've been sitting on a strike for about three months now oh really? yeah oh yeah the, the thing about this is that these knuckleheads are actually you know, actually all three of us want to think like i said they are going to seriously wheel joe biden's butt out there again and try and have him run again. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you serious? Like, 86 years old. Biden will be at the end of the next term if he is reelected. 86 years old. And here's the thing. You know, Trump is just a, a little bit younger than him. But look at how much younger he acts. Like, look at how much more. Even look at Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is older than biden but bernie sanders is more even though bernie sanders looks like a people like the grip keeper that's <laughs> but he's at least more man. more there you know what i'm saying like like he he, he can actually hold a conversation you know yeah what I'm but chairman sanders uh needs to chill out with all the well, craziness I'm not, that he I'm has not, i'm not endorsing him i'm not endorsing him <laughs> but, uh, all i'm saying is that bernie has looked old since he was young you know what i'm saying but he, you can actually see there's intelligence in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? But Biden's just, like I said, there was a, some like MTV Music Awards where like um, Stevie Wonder was was doing a perform performance. I think it was for that Will Smith Wild Wild West song or, or whatever. And they kind of left him on stage. And he's sitting there like, look, look, look like what the what the hell's going going on? That's how Biden looks every time his speech is over. <laughs> now so it's like. Huh? What? Ooh, you know what I mean? And I he f him. he forgot his grandchild. Oh, you guys, what's the forgot guy? his grandchild's name. What's the lady that they found out in California? She's like a senator, and they they said that 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 she lost her mind like four Feinstein. years ago. Feinstein. Yes. Yo, they say yeah. she is nuts. <laughs> like she is done. Like mentally done for. And yet she's still in office, and she's still just like holding up whatever the committee that the, it's not. No, she resigned cool. from that committee. Oh, she really? resigned. Yeah, she finally stepped back from that committee. That's people thought she was going to resign. She didn't resign. She just uh, she just resigned from the committee itself. What about Sling Blade? He has a stroke. Oh, opened up his Fetterman. debate by saying good night, everybody. Oh, the guy in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Fetterman. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Uh, That's how he opened he's, his debate. And he's not Jamaican, so he ain't got no excuse. You know, yeah. Jamaican say good, hello, good, uh, good night. <laughs> he runs a campaign. A month later, he's in the mental hospital for severe depression because they rode this dude too hard because they could not give up Philly. Damn. That's garbage. You know what, though? At the end of the day, Joe Biden has proven the ability to beat Trump. That's how they see it. That's all that, that's all that matters. Yeah. That's yeah. How, Allegedly. That's, well, yeah, but that's how, it's how it shook out. So you can only it go sure with how is. it shook out. Right. All yeah, I know. But, but look, but look, I, I saw a news report now to where um, there's a lot of younger people um, who don't believe that he's capable, like he, they think he's incapable of being president. Now, I, I don't think that they'll. They're right. Uh, that that the. I mean, you think about it. Do you think that they'd rather have an intact Trump or a or a completely out of his mind Biden? And also, too, <clears throat> you are, yeah, you guys see this foolishness and um. And Chicago, where all the migrants are being bust. Oh in yeah, black neighborhoods. And of course, when you see that town hall, who do you see yelling at the city council about why you gotta have these people here? Blah, 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 blah. It's all black women you screaming, yelling. About, about Did you see black, what they're doing black now? Women, black black women vote ninety eight percent Democrat. Us black men, we had more black men vote either independent. Green or Republican this year than ever before. So you can't blame us. You know what I'm saying? But these black I mean, people vote 99.9% 9 Democrat, and then and and then wonder why why all these migrants are all crammed in their neighborhoods now. You still know? wasted. You still wasted your vote on H. Ross Perot or Ralph Nader. <laughs> you know, uh, like, uh, uh, that's how they get you. Yeah, is that oh, you man. have to you oh, have man. to choose. You have to choose to waste your vote to try to vote for anybody else. Yeah, so let's yeah, talk. But... Let's talk about Biden sending three hundred million dollars worth of gear over to the war that's going on with those two countries. I don't, don't want to yeah, say yeah, yeah, let's not do, do that. Yeah. <laughs> that country puts three hundred million dollars worth of arms in one place, and the other country blows it the hell up. As soon as it in the same warehouse. Well, three hundred million dollars worth of but, fireworks. But remember, the thing is, people people actually act like that money is like like there's a line of Ukraine, Ukrainian, uh, uh, I mean, of people from another place. Sorry, getting money. This money, it's going to the contractors, all the buddies of all these senators. Yeah. Every time that it changes, changes hands. It's not going over there. And yeah, hundred percent. They're, they're trying to be slick. You know what I'm saying? Like. Well, what do you say? My ass may may be dumb, but I ain't no dumbass. So, you know so saying? the if we're if we're actually going to talk about the the the, the all of it, uh, the truth is that there there's an X amount that goes towards actual pew 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 pew, pew right? And those actually go over. They have a monetary amount, uh, what you call attached to them, but yeah. they are the things that make the conflict happen. Right. Um. The 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 right. And then there's uh, food, uh, supplies, uh, aid, medical. There's uh, those supplies go over, and those have a monetary amount attached to them as well. And then there's cash money, that is just numbers in a computer. And this is the stuff that uh, 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 Zelensky is tucking, uh, uh, tucking away. Z man, is he no good? He's no good either. He's yeah, no yeah. good. Okay. I would say the Z man. Cut him out. Yeah, cut him yeah. out. Uh, so, so the big guy, <laughs> that's probably no good too anymore. No, no, no. We got the big guy, but that's their big guy. The yeah. actor. Just yeah. call him the actor. Yeah, the actor, right? What do they call him? They call him the uh, they call him the transsexual actor or something like that in uh, uh, over there in the, the other place, the place that doesn't like him. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call him. <laughs> Cause he he dressed up. Yeah, he's a, they're like trolls because he dressed up in a woman's dress one time and did a skit, and so now over there he's just that's all he that's what he is. <laughs> did you see the the wow. drone, the the attempt on that one guy trying to send him to the upper room? Yeah, up in Come his on. little palace area, right over the top of it, boom, and it's like 
I mean, had it had it gone exactly where you wanted it to be. <laughs> Gang, it's, I'm sorry, dude. Your shorts game is on point, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Saw the, you're, uh, to the woman of the year one you just did. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so back to the report, though. Yeah. Oh, man. They oh, literally man. tried to burn Trump down with lies. And now it's come out. And the the blue side is doubling down and saying nothing to see here. And, and I mean, if this report is, is goes all the way, we could be looking at an impeachment coming. Well, let's think about it. And this is what I'm talking about whenever we're talking about InBev, uh, sacrificing a little piece of their whatever. They just sacrificed CNN on this altar. Yeah, CNN, that's fact. Yeah, that CNN, CNN has officially uh, been beaten by Newsmax. Earlier today, yeah, the ratings came the out. Yeah, they had the lowest ratings. Yeah. And so yeah. they took something that was a powerhouse. They took a communications juggernaut that had control and had influence over a large swath of the United States and ran it into the ground. They ruined people's careers. They uh, just ruined their credibility and nobody blinked an eye. Yep. They just disbanded. Look at they got rid of Don Lemon. Uh, I forget. Uh, the, oh, you the, mean uh, you mean yeah. uh, uh, Fruit Loops? <laughs> oh, Sassy Pants. Oh, Sassy <laughs> Pants. <laughs> oh, Juicy Fruit. The yeah. Station Station's gonna move ya. <laughs> <laughs> so they're willing to sacrifice anything on the altar because it it really is. This is like their religion, you know. Mm. It's a, it's almost like communism where the state is supposed to be the religion, but in America, the state or the democratic part of the state has to consult with their people because we're not an authoritarian state where we can just smack people over the head if they don't say things we don't like. So they have to cohort with their people and their people have gone nuts because of the democratic policies. So now they're stuck. Nancy Pelosi is stuck with this weird blue headed thing, right? That she has to say she agrees with. And she's like an 85 year old white woman, rich aristocratic white woman. Do you remember when they put on the African garb and, <laughs> and knelt? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, so this all goes back to terrible decisions though on the red side too, because had the red side not blown it in the midterms by overturning Roe v. Wade, they could have waited on that. They would have taken Congress and Senate, and they would be all set up right now to impeach Biden. But instead, the Congress is still blue. And I can't imagine. There are a few middle-of-the-aisle blue right now, like cinema, uh, you know, people like that. But it'd take an act of God to impeach him right now. But he should be impeached. Well, the, well, the thing that's that's interesting is that, um, like, I, I DeSantis or or Trump. Do you have to really, really think, like, with 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 Biden's mental state being the way it is, all the you know the campaign painting, all of the debates. I mean, what do you think he's even gonna make it through? And do you think he's gonna run with Kamala Harris again? Where I'll put it this at? way. You know what I'm, you know, uh, yeah, she is. I'm going to vote for Trump in the primary, but only because Trump has proven that he can win the presidency. If Trump and DeSantis, if, if Trump had not won the presidency before, I would pick DeSantis, but he has not proven that he can win on a national stage as the word Trump has. I believe DeSantis is the better pick of the two. But I think you have to go with Trump. The same reason the blue team is going with Biden. Well, well, you know, I'm I'm characteristically optimistic in that. You you get the you know Portland, Oregon, the whole West Coast, the whole Chicago thing with like migrants, and even New York, where the yeah yeah this is New York. 
we can't have these migrants in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. <laughs> these, these people in the blue, just give them what they want and they'll turn red real fast. Or at least not even red, just they'll well, just not be blue. Because you see it, you see it now, Chicago. You see it in Austin, Texas now, where they they have no cops, and all of a sudden they're like, "Oh no, we need the cops back." When they defunded the the police, so I think people. I've used to hear people say, "People on the right, if you want to turn them left, give them what they want." That isn't true. If you want people on the on the left to turn right, give them what they want for a day, and all of a sudden they'll be trying to get get the police back, a strong military back traditional gender roles, all that back real fast. If we had a... a you know, well, a there are a few a- there are a few undercover Republicans on the Democrat side, 100%. Tulsi Gabbard, by all means, has a Republican mindset, but is yeah, a Democrat. And that's because she was, she was military. And this she's military. Hard. She's yeah, all like for... I the most out of, out of everyone who ran last year. That's who I wanted to move forward. I, right, I, I I really like Tulsi. I really like, like her a lot. And this is and this is coming from a red bill guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a hard time with you know. Like, but but she's shown that do her military I would have voted ser- for her. service. Yeah, me too. And this is coming from a red a red bill. I'm a Republican, and I, if if it was Trump versus Tulsi Gabbard, I would have I would have voted for Tulsi follow, Gabbard. If you guys follow Tol- Tulsi on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. She, when she does her little runs and those little she, yoga pants, she <laughs> she tore. She is the reason. Tulsi got some cakes, man. <laughs> she is the reason that Kamala Harris had to drop out of the presidential race. She yeah. ate Kamala Harris's ass up in that yeah. debate. She she tore that bitch apart. It was yeah. awesome. I know that Dylan Mulvaney uh, been all over. Been, might as well be the vice president. For uh, as much airtime, for as much airtime as she getting, because it's a hell of a lot more than Kamala. I know. <laughs> Might as well be the vice president of Bud Light, Van Heisen, yeah. for sure. <laughs> it would, true, it true. wouldn't <laughs> hurt yeah, if you took if you took Dylan and put her in the VP spot. It wouldn't be any worse than it is now. No. Yeah. No, it'd actually yeah. be kind of funny. Yeah, uh, exactly. It'd where, be something to watch. The VP yeah. would get some eyes, and it would there would be some positive spin. Because Dylan is a positive figure yeah. in general. And if you've noticed the response to all of this, it, what's not nasty. She hasn't been nasty. Just like, hey, whatever. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, but, as compared to Kamala Harris, who, who just doesn't I mean, do anything. All, but no. then again, all the rumors, everyone that used to work for her said she's a terrible person to be to be be around. And she had made a point of, of like hiring a, a, a bunch of women and blah blah blah. So if you're you, we're in this whole M two type thing, and now you have a powerful woman that's abusing women in the workplace, that's crazy. That's a big no no. Are we know? talking about the pound me too movement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say M two because I don't you know don't want to get a it done but yeah man that's this that whole thing is you can't have a have a time where you're trying to be oh we aren't the you know the the bullies in the workplace and then your vice president is a bully to women in the workplace you know oh you can tell bro she she emasculates oh. her husband at home a hundred percent allegedly <laughs> oh yeah Oh, you mean Mr. Com- Kamala? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, she's all about she's all about the, the black community, but she went and married a white man. Uh uh-uh, uh 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 uh. She's all about the black community when the cameras are on, and this is about the Indians at the fundraiser. Right. When the Indian doctors and lawyers and stuff are out there, get out of here with that mess, man. You know what I mean? And here's the thing: I really, really, really think that you know, with these things, with the migrants and all of that, when you have well, look, when you have black women that are upset because you know that look like the most heavily influenced group by media is black americans that's just how how we are but once again w- w- so black women bought the the democratic thing hook line and sinker black people people did but they were all in when you see we look at that town hall meeting in chicago when they were yelling at the city council about the migrants ha- at that abandoned school in their neighborhood these women were upset. And what's going to happen more and more is this is going to keep happening and you're going to start seeing more black women using this powerful thing called social media that they all see in the 
how to use, and it just might start tipping things because once things start becoming trendy in our community, then things start to change, you know? So in New York, they are marching because the the gymnasium of, I believe it's an elementary or middle yeah. school, yep. has been That's taken me. up by migrants. Mm -hmm. And in a democratic city, in a democratic state, they are marching because they do not want the, what, it, it's, it's what you voted for. Yep. Now sit there and eat and, and, and live with it. This is what you asked for, you know, and you say, Oh, uh, all you care about is the wall or this, or that. like, get out of here, get out of here. This is what you asked for right here. You're, mm -hmm. you're getting it in real time. Okay. We're going to go over here to the Durham report. This is a live reaction I saw today. So if nobody here broke the law, that is an indictment of our laws as they currently stand. So just to go over some of the points that were made in the Durham report, significant reliance on uh, investigating leads that were funded by Trump's opposition occurred. Uh, they did not and could not corroborate any of the substantive allegations made by the Steele report. The investigation was not properly opened. Information was not properly vetted. It was carried out in an improper manner. FBI officials, according to the Durham report, had a predisposition to have a bias against President Trump. They didn't do their basic due diligence. And the FBI warned the Clinton campaign of potential Russian interference during the 2016 election, but did not warn Trump. The Trump campaign. So people can say, well, in the Durham report, there isn't any statement explicitly saying that there was an attempt at a deep state coup. He's just saying that basically everyone who handled this investigation was behaving improperly because of their bias against a, a sitting president. Well, that's just the distinction without a difference. I don't care if they all met in a cigar room and rubbed their hands together and laughed about the fact that they were trying to subvert the U.S.'s democracy and the fact that we had a democratic election and people chose an outsider. The fact is what they were doing is functionally identical. They were trying to use bad evidence to attempt to remove somebody from office who hadn't committed a crime. I think that is Surge from Timcast IRL. If anybody doesn't know what that is, I'm going to drop it in the what you call real quick. Drop it in. You know, the, you know what's funny? And I think that I said this the other time is people were trying to, you know, once Trump was in office, everyone was trying to say, oh, the system is broken and, you know, all this other stuff. And we need to find ways to like oust presidents easier and all this foolishness, right? In the same way that they're talking about with the Supreme Court, right? Because you know, they're trying, trying to say, oh, the Supreme Court's outdated. Can you, can you believe that? They're saying the Supreme Court's outdated. And, uh, and what this new woke crowd, they assume that they will always be on the right side of things, right? With, like I said, I'm black, okay? People like us have benefited from what the Supreme Court has done in the last 70 years a lot, okay? And I don't want to end up it being where they, something else tries to get through Supreme Court, and there might be that one justice, that one voice of reason that's holding out to make to save our democracy, and yet somehow someone can find a way to get them out of there. People never assume, they, they always think that they're going to be on the right side of it, that things will always be in their favor. It's like a limiting speech. People all assume that what they're saying is going to always be good speech. Well, what if something happens to what they say is, is considered legal speech or not but hate speech people just don't think that far ahead anymore so and I fyi everybody aj is a black man that lives in a blue state and all of his friends are radical left yeah bad dude so and and i'm from a super blue state i said i i live in the dmv now but well i'm from washington state you guys man it is it is bad. Some of the people you can't even talk to anymore. And if if they saw you wearing that hat, matter of fact, if they just saw you, you, you two. I did this to troll. Know. It's not even a MAGA <laughs> hat, bro. It's a big Johnson sausage hat. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, people can't even, they can't even talk anymore, right? They can't even have a conversation. And they don't, and they can't even admit that, look, just you don't have to vote party party line all the way down down for one party. You don't have to agree with every single thing that that a person says. There's guys like you know, and, you know Jordan Peter, Peter, Peterson Tate. I don't agree with everything those guys say, but they make good points. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't agree with 100 percent of anything anyone has to say. But now everyone says 
if it's not 100%, it's nothing. And that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You so. know, you can't even blame the Democratic Party as a whole. It is the upper echelon of that party. It's yep, the Maxine Waters and Nancy Pelosi, you know, and, and obviously Biden and, and people like this that have just, they perverted for their own wealth and gain yeah. uh, an entire party. Yep. And what's funny is that, so my friend uh, that goes to the bar that I do trivia at, he's like, oh, you know, oh, retired cop. He's that old school, like 60s, 70s working class liberal. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you say something bad about my a black friend, I'm going to cave your head in with a tire iron. You know what I mean? He's that type of, type of dude. <clears throat> and he just says he doesn't understand how, like, like, free speech used to be what liberals fought for. Now it's what conservatives are fighting for. You know I've watched, I've watched them call people like you coons. Yeah, yeah I have yeah. watched white yeah. liberals. Yeah, yep. that are That's marching true. for for Black Lives Matter yeah. call black men coons. Yeah. Remember are when, you out of your mind? When when Roe v. Wade, Wade <laughs> first went, got struck down, uh, of course, all these white people on Twitter went straight to calling Clarence Thomas coon. Isn't that that funny? And what's even more funny is we have the most diverse Supreme Court ever. And they Roe v. Wade got struck down. But when it was all white dudes, it was still there. <laughs> so Roe v. Wade, that's another thing. Everybody thinks that Roe v. Wade got overturned or even, like you said, struck down. That's not what happened. The Supreme Court noticed that it is not their business to be dealing with this. It is the state's business so they basically took themselves out of the 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 picture and said this is not for us let the states handle it how they handle it it was it was the right move for for the supreme court to do ginsburg said that the roe v wade ruling the way it is is going it it, it's not going to stand it's not she said it in the 80s you know what i'm saying she said this back then so these people, uh, people, they just, they want to, we need to abolish the Supreme Court and get rid of ICE and get rid of all this stuff. So, are you high? A friend of mine goes, because cause one of my family, family members works for ICE and he works for um, <laughs> for the, the internal affairs that gets rid of the bad ICE agents. And yo, you should hear some of, some of the stories of these knuckleheads that they give a badge to and a gun. <laughs> but... He, you know, I, it, one of the major things that they do is is bus sex tra- traffickers. Thousands and thousands yeah. of, of, of these coyotes bring it, uh, and these Chinese and Russians that are bringing these women over. They catch these guys and set these women free. You know what I'm saying? So you want to get rid of a, a, an organization that is the number one defense against trafficking of women that makes perfect sense yeah, i didn't you, know that aj i didn't know yeah you didn't because you don't read a book about, did about did that. you guys see biden's new move so instead of dropping illegal uh immigrants back off on the other side of the the rio grande they oh. are flying them all the way down to the very bottom of Mexico <laughs> so that they have to make that trip back up here again. And that what it's going to do is it's going to buy Biden months of time yeah. to be able to yep. say, look, see, they're not look at how many immigrants aren't on the border anymore. Yeah, because you just flew them all to Guatemala, That's dumped funny. them off and <laughs> probably took their shoes. I know. Yeah, it's funny. You remember, though, that uh, that um, Mexico ha- has a wall on its southern border. Yep. Guatemala and Mexico. And well, we, if you get caught, if one of us gets caught overseeing our welcome in Mexico, they deport us. A hundred percent. They deport us. <laughs> and if we do it in any other country, it's just, that's how it should be, right? But yeah. in America, yeah. no. Yeah. It's just it's the craziest thing. We have this thing where like, okay, we're the only country in the world that's raising our young, our young people to hate their own country. It, I, I don't understand how being patriotic and be, you know what I mean? Like, 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 I, I don't understand. And I'm at the point now to where I see immigrants who come, come here, Asians, Ethiopians, or whatever, Cubans, 
Hispanics, when they come here legally, they are the most patriotic people I will ever that I've ever met. I'm in Florida. I've met, man. And, you understand? And my neighbor, my next door neighbor, who my daughter goes and plays with their daughter every day, they're the same age. Me and him have gotten to talking. He's from Cuba, like floated over here, touched land, got his citizenship, Cuba. And he hates Biden. He he is all over Trump. Like you just don't understand what what it really looks like, yeah. what these people are trying to enact. He's like Trump is the the shit. He is but, he's the answer. The is, is this was that what what country out there is better than the United States? That's the thing that and people always try to talk about oh Scandinavia and all this bullshit where they're all the where they're all the press and they're like ninety nine point nine percent the same type of people whatever. But even then, look, they have a they have a national church in each of those kind of countries. So they don't have freedom of religion. They don't have freedom of speech. They have mon monarchy still. And then they do dumb stuff like a whole bunch of Swedish men, I believe, were 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 marrying women from Thailand, Cambodia, and Laos. So these women in the parliament made it illegal for them. To marry women from Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. Think about I'll, that. Think about I'll, how crazy I'll tell you what. that is. Ten years ago, AJ, it was harder for you than it was for me to, to just exist in America. It was harder on the black man, right? These days, they have made it so hard to be a white man. I tell my kids to claim that they are Mexican on any applications, on anything that they do. Claim that you are Mexican. Because... If you're a male and you're white, you're not getting shit coming to you, dude. Well, what I can tell you, that's why I said it. Well, in my relative space, the black black men, we are the canaries in the coal mine. Anything that happens to us first, the single mother thing, where we're expected to take care of your, of your children that aren't ours, and all this other stuff, and, that, and then it happens to white guys next, man. And the thing is, nowadays, they like said, there's this presupposition that white, white guy bad. All the problems in the world, white guy's bad. What? Oh man, my car won't start. Some white guy must have <laughs> pulled out the car plug or whatever. And yeah, facts. Mark Dusty said uh, said said that there is no pledge of allegiance anymore, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And and here's the thing: those who have that's the only woke saying that I will say that I like. Those who have privilege don't recognize neither. We have these kids in college. In the greatest country in the world that's ever existed on this planet, 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 acting like they're oppressed. Think about how crazy that is. You I never college. felt, I never felt as as bad for the black man as I do today, because yeah. I'm being treated like a black man. Yeah, and basically. it sucks. It there sucks, go, man. And, and that's the truth. And it's, and it's funny because a lot of the issues that are out there, gang is just clipping that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you 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 cannot be you you cannot be pro male of it uh, at all. It's hard, bro. You can't no more he man. On, no, yeah. no, and be on the left. You can't do it. It's not no. possible. No, you cannot. And what's funny is once again, there's a, there's a reason why believe it or not, on the red side, the red sides win, even though I think it's like forty percent of the population considers them themselves to be on the red red side. If you because on the red side, what is it? What's the five things that you need to be there? Uh guns, Trump, Jesus, <laughs> strong well, borders, strong military, and you're good. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, purple, right? That's the but, list right there. But the but the left, you gotta be LG, your, your Transformers, Decepticons, Furries, all types of stuff. And if you're not, they, they disqualify each other. If you have a basketball game and there's four guys, and four on six, and the four guys are playing as a team and the other six guys aren't, those four guys are going to win. And I'm telling you, that's one thing that I've noticed is that the, is that the Democrats are good at losing, right? And even though things might sway back, when times get hard, because watch, in the next three to five years, there's going to be something that will happen. Either like another bout of the cough, cough, 
or 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 maybe there there might be some type of a I don't know, like whatever. It would Balloons just, fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just like after the, the after the towers, you you know it's how people got paid. Yeah. It, it's. Oh, you're breaking up, AJ. Cutting out, AJ. Cutting out. Yeah, let me turn off my. Uh, That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna play this clip real quick. All right. We're gonna talk about reparations. The proposal in San Francisco has reignited the debate over reparations for Black Americans. The city's reparations advisory committee has recommended that qualifying Black residents should receive five million dollars each. According to the committee, the suggested amount is not a direct recompense for slavery, but rather serves as an investment in a community harmed by centuries of discriminatory practices. The proposal comes as cities and states across the country grapple with the question of reparations. But some advocates and experts are wary of the San Francisco proposal, including my next guest, who told The Washington Post, quote, Calling for $5 million payout by uh, a local uh, government uh, undercuts the credibility uh, of the that? reparations effort. And joining me now is... I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. Because they're going to they're gonna be like, well, how, how do you quantify our trauma from slavery? And this is what I mean. You can, you can never be woke enough, right? Well, I did. They said $5 million. So then I went and looked up how many black people are in the Bay Area. And it turns out there's about 500,000 uh, black people in the Bay Area. So if you take 5 million and you times it by 500,000, from what 2. I can 5. tell, 2.5 trillion. Yeah, that is, is what nuts. From, from what I can tell. 2.5 trillion. And, and what do you get out of it? What are they going to buy? Chargers and crab legs, bro. <laughs> and, and I'm not even trying to be fucking racist. Hell, hell, hell. Hellcats and Popeyes. Hellcats yeah. and Popeyes, homie. Yeah. Hellcat yes. red eyes. Yeah, I am I am against reparations. I think the whole idea is so stupid. And the reason why is because uh all you guys, especially all the white white guys, all the white people that are listening now, your families probably got here after slavery ended. That's where most of the immigration from Germany and other places was like the late late eighteen hundreds. So There's quite a few black childresses that play in the NBA. I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm one of them families that probably own some 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 people. But the but the but the majority didn't. It happens. And it then, happens. I didn't. And the majority of people they said I had nothing to do with this. Right. And I, I just don't understand what point that this is trying to prove. I, I or never know. met anybody who Thank was you. in the fields. Like Slavery was abolished in 1864? 64 or 5, yeah. Uh, yeah. 64, 65. So, say somebody was born a slave in 1864, and they lived 100 years old, or to 100 years old. They died in 1964. Who was president? Richard Nixon? Lyndon Johnson? Somebody? Uh, well, um, L. Eisenhower? L. No, uh, JFK. He was deleted in sixty. JFK. Yeah. So, no, so seventy. Not in seventies. JFK wasn't the. No, sixty four. Yeah, he said six. six so, All right, but it, so, so say thirty years before that, at seventy, they had a child. That child would have been of age to have babies themselves in the eighties. So technically, nobody has ever met somebody who was a slave in the United States. Well, well, the thing you got to understand is that is that from reconstruction until 1965, you, you remember blacks socially we were doing really well. You know, we were married at 93% clip. There was no out of wedlock birth. Uh uh we were actually even though we started from a lower economic point, we were going to we we're actually uh our um economic status was going up faster than whites were, right? If we had, if we would have had enough time, we would actually eclipse whites. But what happened in 60, was it 65 was when LBJ got in charge and the great society started. And you notice that our community hasn't been the, been the same since. 
If well, we talk about slavery, slavery ain't got nothing to do to do with it. And if I see one more freaking slave mo- movie, I'm gonna blow my brains out. Oh, bro! <laughs> not a slave movie. Twelve years of slave. I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. I don't want to see it anymore. It's yeah. It's it's they're placating to about the wrong shit. If you want to say I demand reparations for you putting me and in, in my family in government housing and putting us in in dire situations living, then fine. If you want to say that that the government basically is the reason that the inner city and gangs exist, fine. Because they built those housing projects, but people needed somewhere to live for cheap. So they did it for cheap. And, and but you know, like like say all of that, that's fine. But do not say that I as a white man, owe anybody money for slavery. Like, get get out of here. It, it just doesn't make any sense. And once See, again, nine, I know, like like less than 2% of the population owned, owned slaves back then, and the majority of whites that are here now immigrated here through Ellis Island. So what what do they got to do with, to do with this? Right. And you then know, poor is a mindset. You remember there are people that might not have a lot of money, but they're not poor, right? And what I mean by that is there's people who you give an opportunity to or some seed money, and they're going to hustle and get and get rich. Then there's people that are poor mentally. You give them five million bucks, and they're broke by, the, by tomorrow. If you were to give black people a $7 million, it would be pandemonium. Well, not just that. They're going to find a way to take it back. That's what the government <laughs> is the greatest at. Is they they pay you with your own money and then they yeah. tax you on it in the end and you end up actually giving them more than they gave you, but you'll vote for them because they gave you, uh, you know, checks throughout the the coffee season, <laughs> you know. So uh, they'll find a way and like whether it be just stupid stuff like everybody's child support is going to get paid up in San Francisco and nice. you know like like oh shit. That type of deal. <laughs> How much back child support is there in the city of San Francisco? Yeah, know, right? Facts, right? <laughs> They're taking that off the top. Homie. They're taking that off we're the gonna, top right we're away. We're going to get all you guys current. Everybody's current on, they, on, on right. their stuff all of a sudden. Right. And at the end of the year, you get hit. And you get hit. And they're like, hey, sorry, man. You owe us like five million three hundred thousand dollars man. You know? And yeah, uh, how, how you plan on paying that? That's five million income. Right? Yeah. Five million income, the state of California needs like 40% of that after after whack. Right. Yeah, just look at the link that I put in the chat. <laughs> Yo, Let's look at this. Rock. Look at me, look at this. <laughs> I don't see one. I put it in the actual chat uh, on the YouTube. Hold on. I can put it in the private channel. No, check it, check it out. Hold on. Um... Strippers and bows. Let me see if you can find it. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a worse nightmare, though. Well, yeah. A city full of junkies getting $5 million. Yeah, that's going to yeah. turn out really well. Yeah, but well. Not, uh, not all black people are junkies, though. No, no, no. But I'm yeah. saying that's a city full of junkies. Yeah. Well, okay. So San Francisco has the same problem that that uh, New York has, that Manhattan has. And the problem is, is that there's a very, very, very small percentage of the population that pays for all the taxes, pays like 50% of the taxes. Yeah. And a bunch of these people have left New York, have left Manhattan. Yeah, so they're deciding true. what they want to do with Manhattan, and they're actually talking about turning it into the playground for the elites. They're going to turn it into, they're going to like... Uh, a new Martha's Vineyard. Yeah, they're in, in the middle of the city um, because they're saying that they don't, so many people have moved away, so many people that make so much yep. money and have moved funny? away. That yeah, they yeah. can't they can't support themselves any longer, and San Francisco yeah. is looking at the same yeah. type of clip. Yeah, isn't it funny that all these all these wealthy people we have to help out the poor and the homeless? But then in the moment that they got telework, meet me, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't it wasn't it DeSantis that was shipping them by the busload to Martha's Vineyard? Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's the greatest troll move of all time. 
He's like, no, oh. go ahead. Come on. Here, I got a bus ticket for you. Oh, it's beautiful where you're going. He Don't worry. He was inviting him. Yeah, he was inviting yeah. him, telling him to come. Yeah, come on. Where you want to go? Put a, I put a, yeah, yeah. I'm on my phone here. Let me see. So, no, but it's, it's this woman. It, the, the title of this article is Woman Duped Girlfriend into Believing She Was Having Sex with a Guy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and then look at this person that was <laughs> hold on hold on let me let me look up the article real quick and I'll it's in it the chat it's on yahoo news it, it's woman dupe girlfriend and i believe she was having sex with a man oh no oh no look <laughs> the world And now what? Yeah. yeah. Reparations. No. Yeah, yeah, man. And how does that it's how true. does that change anything? It's true. And or even it's, here, here, wait, 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 here. They could do it to where like, let's just say that okay, first of all, it would have to be Ados only, as in like like African descendants uh -oh. and slaves, American blacks, right? Because it can't be, you know, Mumbutu who just jumped off the boat. That's that is happening. Then they right. I think what it would need to be is they would they could say, look, maybe, you know, make it fair. You know, you get free education or like your kids get free education or maybe they can make it like a VA house loan or like you you can get a, a zero down payment. House right. Loan. Something Which I'm totally like fine that. with. If you yes. want to. If you want to do a 23andMe and prove that your ancestors came over here from Africa during the, the slave times, if you can track that back and you get $5 million worth of free education, uh, subsidies on loans, things like that, right? I'm fine with all that. It's like the uh, uh, Native Americans. Yeah. They deserve free education. We, mm -hmm. we slaughtered their people. Yeah. The same thing with the Africans, right? We did that. We did that. But. Your great 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 grandchild don't need to be talking to <laughs> me about it because I don't know Irish. shit about it. <laughs> he said he's black Irish. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No, but my yeah, my great great grand great 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 granddad on my mom's side, we actually have his slave records. Yes, it, it's crazy to even look look at, but yeah, look at that. Look at this headline. That that's the person that 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 uh, that came off of. I mean, that that put uh, you know fooled the woman into thinking that they were a guy. And then look, it says <laughs> it said to have used an unknown item to penetrate her girlfriend. And always <laughs> kept. Her is this is this the phone. girlfriend or the alleged boyfriend? The uh, the alleged boyfriend. <laughs> no, the picture right here. The alleged boyfriend. Oh yeah. dear. Blade. Blade Silvano. Blade. <laughs> yeah. It's claimed that she always made her partner wear a blindfold and rebuffed the alleged victim's touches. What? And just started jamming Bob up in her, huh? Yeah. Man, oh man, oh man. She's like, for that's the best years. I've ever had. You last so long. Yeah, for two years. Yeah, handling business. Fraudulent. <laughs> Fraudulent business. That is crazy, man. Did the Irish get reparations? I mean, that's the way it would have to go, right? No. Or, or no, is their skin know. a little too fair? They Most of the Irish chose to come over here as slaves. Well, but honest. hey, guys, Pete, this, right? If that's the case, then, then, we, then we would need to go go to all these Arab countries How about that because uh, a lot of the Arab well you would have to look at Protestant them. white families that came yeah. over as indentured slaves too no, no, what I'm saying is that they came over as an indentured service but they at least owed some type of debt or whatever what I'm saying is that that you know that the African tribes caught each other sold sold each other to the Arabs and the Arabs sold Fact. sold the blacks to the whites but if anything anyone owes us and anyone's got enough money sitting around it's the oil dudes in the Middle East. They got plenty of money that they can that, that they can pay the Irish too. <laughs> hey, that's my go-to line: is you didn't see Europeans running around uh, Africa with nets, bro. Yeah. 
we was not out there catching slaves. We just yeah. scooped them up. Yeah. No, they yeah. said that they said the life expectancy was crap. No, if, it was if even white worse people, in Brazil. It was if white worse. people went into the interior, white people couldn't handle the diseases no, and the bugs no, and things like this listen, in the interior. I mean, do you remember that the North Africans had had white slaves back in the day? Because they they went up into Spain and Portugal, and then all the they would go up the go up to uh, England to the English Isles, and then go up to France and and the Gauls, and they would take them and ship them down to North Africa. So there were white slaves, you know, getting sunburned as like, <laughs> Africa. Was, can I get you another tea, Massa? Seriously. <laughs> so guys, uh, um, did you see real? I'm going to dip in a second, but did you guys see Martha Stewart on the cover of of the Sports Illustrated swimsuit, dude? Yeah, Listen. we're going to cover that Sunday, the, the the guy being on, the guy who's on the cover of the swimsuit issue this year. And it, or this what's month. funny is, Martha Stewart's 81, it's, it's sad enough she's on there, but she looks better than... And then Madonna does right, right, right now. <laughs> I'd, I'd give it to Martha Stewart, bro. She's 81, but she's a G. Yeah. So. She's a gangster. All right, you guys. I got a dip. I appreciate Later, you guys brother. having me on, man. Great yeah. show. Great con- content. Keep up the good a good work, guys. Thank you, brother. Thanks Thank for you, guys. Oh, I'm live on my channel in about 10 minutes. Nice. I'm going to take my dog out. We're Who's back to back to back and over here. No, I don't believe that we brought, uh, I don't, I don't believe that we, America didn't really bring uh, them across. That wasn't our trip. Lots of no. the por- Portuguese, uh, Portuguese, French, uh, Danish, lots of the Dutch. Um, you know, We I mean? just capitalized. We capitalized on. White people are really good at systems. Yeah. We're yeah. really good at systems and logistics. We are. Yeah. It's kind of our thing, you know? And, and if you can pick up something, you know, at, at point A, where you're getting it at a really good price, and then you can run it to point B and get 10 times your money, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm not trying to say slavery was a good thing, but it's been in the world for the existence of the world. And I don't know if my ancestors did it or not, but even if they did, I'm not trying to pay somebody who, who it didn't happen to. Yeah, that, that's not, I don't think that's really the point that they're trying to make. They're more trying to uh, make the point that uh, the racism and what's not ripples through time and that the effects that have rippled through time uh, are still apparent in the world. And if you look at the wealth disparities in the world, you can see, Oh yeah, uh, there there is some. You know what I mean. That people have been done uh, unfairly. If if we're gonna say this country is for everybody, if we're gonna stand by the ideals of what America is, if we- you flood the market with two point five trillion new dollars, because these are just made up dollars, you are actually weakening the economy and the U.S. dollar. So even from an economic standpoint. <laughs> That's they a terrible idea. That. They couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. No, it's not tenable. And no, they are could. threatening Biden right now, saying if you don't have some sort of reparations bill that you uh, that you're going to push, we will not back you. They they were threatening him openly in the media like a week ago. Yeah, there's lots of threats that are going to be going on lately. It's about to get crazy again. 2024 is right around the corner, and it's election year. In case anybody forgets how elections go. It's not election month or election week. It's election year. So we're going to be talking about that all year long. And and I hope Trump is in top form. Uh, he's always in top form. He's <laughs> Hey, he went on CNN and ate them apart, bro. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, but next week we are going to talk about Kim Petras, uh, who is a trans female and is currently on the cover of uh, what's called uh, Sports Illustrated. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing now. America. Exactly. Exactly. America. America. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is I'm just, on? yeah. I'll show up with my Oreos and my Bud Light and my, my Gillette razors. And it'll be a good time talking about 
man of the year and that type of stuff. I can remember, you know, whenever I was a kid, uh, you know, they re everybody really did believe in America. We knew that it had problems and whatnot, but we really did believe in America. And there was a lot of people who would scream and they would say weird things and they say they're taking our country and they're doing weird stuff. And everybody would just kind of, and, and man, they never could have, you never could have guessed where this was going to go, you know? And I can remember making a thing whenever they first started talking about the gay marriage debate. And I said, well, what, I get to marry a lamp or what? I get to marry whatever I want to marry. And the answer is, yeah, now pretty much. Now? Yeah. If you yeah. could marry somebody who identifies as a lamp. I'm going to start identifying as something. I don't know. A millionaire. It's going to identify as it. Start identifying as a big cock. Yeah, exactly. Having a 10 inch cock. That's what I'm going to start identifying as. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. All anyway, right, man. I think I'm probably done, brother. I'm done. Yeah, I got to I got to hop You're off of here too? and run over to my channel and tell everybody about what happened in the verdict today and Okay. And do all that. I already did it on on another channel. Well, I'll be so, listening. I'll be driving with my dog. We're going to go do some things, go to the park and run around. All right, brother. I'll be driving with my dog. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. We'll see you on Sunday. The next show will be on Sunday. Please check out the shorts that will be happening through the week. Uh, yeah. I'll be clipping this one up, too, to make smaller videos out of it, 12, 15-minute videos out of it. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. America. Culture War Vultures.